there and welcome back to Beauty Bee where today we are unbagging my Ipsy bag. I subscribe to Ipsy. I don't tend to actually get the bags very often. I've been subscribed since February I think and this is only the second bag that I've purchased. Usually I will just skip each month and pick any add-ons that I want during their second chance sale and they have like four other different sales each month so I have actually purchased quite a bit of makeup through Ipsy, but this is only bag number two. I am uh, not wild about this bag. This is very much not my aesthetic, though I think it is cute for what it is. You know, it also kind of smells. Yeah, not a fan. It smells like paint. Let's actually start though with the things that came outside of my bag. The first is the most exciting this was an add-on and it's the Viseur uh, Petite Pro 2. It's so little and it's so cute. I've wanted to try Viseur since uh, approximately forever and I never have. I wanted actually this year to save up some of my beauty budget for, I think it was the Libertine palette or the Minx palette. Palettes. I will put a picture of it up, the purple one, but it seems like they've discontinued it. So here is what the one that I actually ended up getting looks like. This was $12 on Ipsy, which I think is an amazing price. I cannot believe that this is $40 originally. I understand that Viseur is expensive, but these are little pans. I, I could never have justified spending $40 on this, but I am really excited to try it. So I've picked four shades kind of at random. We're gonna give them a swatch. Now I've heard that Viseart doesn't swatch very well, so it doesn't surprise me that those look a little bit on the sheer and patchy side, but honestly, I tend to often really like shades that, sh that um, swatch a little bit on the sheer and patchy side because they give me a lot more control than shades that are bam, pigment right away in a swatch because I like to be able to build things up. So this is promising. I'm really, really excited about this. I think that this will be great for me. These actually aren't colors that I have a whole lot of. Um, I do have some of these more pinky shades, but they tend, at least in my collection, to skew a little bit more light and a little bit more cool toned. Really the closest color story I think that I have to this would be the Elf Berry Bad, and I really don't think that's too similar either. So very, very excited about that. And also outside of my bag, there was a little brush. This is from Farah. I have a Farah brush that I got again in Ipsy a few months ago, and I've really enjoyed it. I, I gestured back there, but I actually moved all my stuff around. So I have my makeup right here. Can I find the brush? There it is. And I use this quite a bit. It is a little bit bigger than what I tend to use every day, but I do like it. I've washed it a few times, probably not as many times as I should have, but you know, and it's held up really well. It's a nice quality brush and I am excited to give this a go. I believe that they, oh, here's the name. The, this is their conceal and set brush. I imagine that I will be using this more for highlighter. I don't have a tiny little highlighter brush like this. The one that I actually use most days is quite a bit bigger. I think this would give me a lot more control. I'm, I'm excited to give this a go as well. So far we're two for two. So now like four minutes into this video, we can finally take a look at the bag. The first item I pull out is the Watermelon Do All Over Serum from Tony Moly. I did look at the spoilers online, so I know everything that's in this bag. I actually expected this to be quite a bit smaller though. I'm actually pretty impressed with how big the sample is. Though holding it up to the light, it seems like there might be quite a bit of empty space in the tube. We'll see how long it lasts. It's definitely enough to give it a good try. Uh, I have tried some sheet masks from Tony Moly, but I've never tried anything else and I'm excited to give this a go. All right, so next we just have the card. Nothing too exciting there. Here is another add-on that I purchased. This is the Pure Lease Pineapple Bright Cleansing Gel. 
Now the background story on the three add-on purchases, so the Viseyard palette, this Pure Lease cleanser, and I think it's a lipstick mini. It's got to be in here. I'll just pull it out to talk about next. Um, is that I would have thought that I was getting the go around as I was moving with the moving company. They were not getting back to me about when I would get my stuff and I started thinking that they just lost all of it. So though I was trying to buy a little bit less makeup in general, I found myself picking up a couple of things that I would want to supplement my very small little stash that I had brought with me, thinking that that might be my only makeup for quite a while. So I was on an eyeshadow no buy. We're just calling it an eyeshadow low buy at this point because eyeshadow keeps showing up. So I didn't feel as bad as maybe I would have otherwise about purchasing this, as well as this cleanser. I wanted something that was a little bit more hardcore than the Neutrogena one that I've been using. That one's very effective, but it feels very gentle. I don't feel super, super clean after I use it, even though I know that feeling super, super clean isn't always the best thing for your skin. And anyway, I'm hopefully going to be traveling again soon, so I figured I could just stick this in my travel bag if I did indeed get all of my stuff. And I did. I actually got confirmation of when my stuff was going to be delivered, I think a day after I placed this order, so I guess it was good for something. Now, next up, we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Lipstick. This is in the shade Dead Roses. It looked so pretty online. Yeah. It is a mauvey brown with quite a bit of rose to it. I think that's going to be beautiful. And I think that this packaging is actually surprisingly nice for a mini lipstick. Usually they feel really, really cheap, but this actually has a nice little bit of weight to it, and it really does click closed in a very satisfying way. Quite happy with that, and it's not tiny either. I mean, it's small, mind you, but I have definitely received smaller mini lipsticks before. Cool. I think I'll be able to get a lot of use out of that. Next up, let's take this. Oh, this is from Color Club, and it is the shade Seriously Disturbed. Oh man, that is neon. That'll be fun for my toes in the summer. I'm not sure how much use I will get out of it the rest of the year, but I think this will be fun to play around with. I'll need to give this a go. And honestly, if I don't like it, this is, shade is absolutely 100% up my mom's alley, so... Even if I don't get a whole lot of use out of it, I suspect that she would really appreciate getting this polish. Tool tool and two more items. Let's start, oh, this was my choice, I think. Yes, this YC Collection Liquid Blush. This is in the shade, Frieza maybe? Probably gonna repeat myself a little bit because I don't know uh, just how annoying the sound of that packaging opening was, but I have never heard of this YC Collection brand before. Looking online after I made my choice, it seems kind of private labely to me, but we'll see. Uh, the blush shade, though, at least online, looked very pretty. Yeah, it just looks very sweet. Where's that color? Let me blend it out a little bit, see what it might look like on the cheeks. Yeah, I like that. That's really soft. And that is actually a color that my skin does produce, so I think that'll look really natural on me. Cool. I've never had a liquid blush before. I'm excited to give it a go, and we'll see how it works on me. And then the last item is a mini. This is Plumeria Petals from Tenais, maybe? I think this is a lip oil, if I remember correctly. 
does it say on the bottom? Nope. The packaging really wanted to stick with me. Now this is a little mini, let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's more sheer than I thought. Not sure I'm wild about the smell, but we'll see. We'll give it a good go. There is a tiny little splotch of that. It is a really sheer fuchsia pink. It's definitely a lot less impactful than I thought it would be based on the bullet. Let's actually apply a little bit of this. I have a tiny little bit of Kool-Aid stain, so we'll see how this shows up. It is sheer. I don't think it's really making much of an impact on my lips at all. Though, again, I do have a little bit of a stain left over from some combination of the like crystal light that I was drinking earlier and the lip product that I was wearing earlier. But it feels nice. It does kind of smell. Not wild about that. I think that this bag is a good one for me. I'm excited to give everything a go. The thing that I'm most excited about overall is the Viviart palette. I am super excited about this. It's so cute and little, and maybe that shouldn't be a positive when it, it was originally $40, but you know, for 12, I can be excited that it's little. And I think the thing that I didn't pick that I'm the most excited about is probably the brush, which am I turning into a boring old lady getting really excited about a brush? Maybe, but this one seems really nice. I think that I'm going to really like it. And if there was one thing that I would be willing to give up out of this, actually, there's probably two. This lip oil, I'm not super impressed by so far, though it is really sheer. It is something that I think I could stick in my bag and wear over pretty much anything else just to get a little bit of hydration. So it's not bad. And this Color Club nail polish, I do like Color Club. I have a couple of their other polishes and I really enjoy them. I'm just not sure that this is my color. So again, I'll give it a go and it might actually work out really well for me. I do tend to like really bright colors on my toes, especially during the summer. Before we end the video, I wanted to mention that Ipsy sent me a thing a few days ago saying that uh, I can send a free bag to my friends who are new subscribers. Now, they just send that to everyone, but they don't know that I have a YouTube channel. Even if they did know that I have a YouTube channel, this is so tiny that they wouldn't care. And I thought, because I don't have anyone that's in my life that would be interested in Ipsy, that I would open that up to you guys. Uh, just DM me on Instagram. It's always linked down in the description box. Shameless little plug. And I will enter your email address if you're one of the first three people who asks me about it. I think that this is only for new subscribers and I think that they probably, I don't know the details, I think they will probably auto enroll you for a subscription. So definitely cancel if you are only looking for that first bag. Please, I don't want you to accidentally spend more money than you intended. Also please be 18 because A, I don't want to get in trouble with the law and B, I really don't want to be DMing children. You know, I appreciate you if you're watching this video, but I really don't want to have any non-public interaction with you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!